okay so now we will discuss about the third example which we discussed orally okay so now what was done in this experiment experiment number third here we took a, a what a sort of a tub okay okay then we took a what a toy which on squeezing produces sound okay so what has to be written over here keep a sound producing toy in a polythene and place it okay and then place it into a tub filled with water okay then what has to be done the toy has to be squished on pressing the on pressing the toy toy placed in water okay oh just see this okay so keep a sound producing toy in a polythene okay and place it into a tub which is filled with a filled with water on on pressing the toy okay what will happen again we will be able to hear the on pressing the toy place in water also we will be able to hear the sound okay on pressing the toy we will be able to hear the sound okay so what does it mean children again in the liquid also the sound can travel okay so what is proved over here sound travels okay sound travels in liquid okay what is that we have taken a toy toy which kind of a toy which makes noise okay when press when it is it has to be wrapped in the polythene it has to be kept into a tub or a tumbler or a beaker which is filled with water and now when we press it what will happen here also we will be able to hear sound because sound can travel in the liquid sound can travel in the water okay now we will talk about the fourth experiment okay now we will talk about the fourth experiment okay which was experiment fill a balloon with air and keep it on the ear okay keep it on the ear and scratch it on the other side okay on the other side what will happen when we fill the balloon with the air and then keep it on the ear and then scratch it from the other side that time also we will be able to hear the sound what does it proves it proves that sound travels through the gases or air okay so what should i write over here sound travels okay through 
gases. Okay, sound travel through gases. Okay, so this is what when we fill the balloon with the what air. Now, what was the last experiment which we discussed? If fifth one, okay. If balloon is filled with water, and scratched from the one end still we will hear the sound okay if we fill the balloon with the what water and then if we uh, scratch it then also we will be able to hear that means see when we when we are filling the balloon with air that time also we are able to hear when we are filling the balloon with the water that time also we are able to hear the sound what is proved here sound travels through gases and here what is proved children sound travels through sound travels through water okay so this was the fifth experiment which we discussed now we will talk about okay now we have to prove that does sound travels in vacuum okay now we have to prove that does sound travels in vacuum okay now for proving this what we'll do you know we'll take okay so we have taken a round bottom flask which is packed by a cork and it has got two holes from where two tubes are coming okay one is a rod where we have what we have tied bell okay we have tied bells and this round bottom flask is filled with water see this is what a flask this is what water we have filled this flask with what water these are what bells okay these are what bells this is what cork with the help of what the round bottom flask is sealed okay now i told that here we have got two holes one we have put a tube which electron is connected to the bells these are what children these are bells okay these are what bells okay these are what bells now okay now what is the second uh, this hole for now to the second hole will add a tube okay will add a pipe sort of a thing here one rubber tube is added to the outer part okay one tube is there first of all we have taken a round bottom flask okay see first of all what has to be done a flask has to be taken okay what has to be done a flask has to be taken it this flask has to be filled with water this glass has to be filled with water okay now it this raw this round bottom flask okay this flask is sealed by a cork but this cork has got two holes okay round bottom flask is taken inside this water is poured okay then two 
uh, you know like it is closed by a cock now this cock has got two holes from one hole one glass rod is uh, you know is inserted and here we have tied the bells okay now through the other end what has to be done again a glass tube has to be inserted and from here the rubber tube okay the rubber tube like i can say like if you have uh, seen the uh, gas of our own houses okay the gas which is there at our own house the cylinder is connected to the gas with a rubber tube okay that sort of a rubber tube so here that sort of a rubber tube has to be added connected okay now our setup is ready now first of all now actually for what reason we are doing this experiment why why like what is the use of doing this here we have to prove here through this experiment it will be proved that sound travels in solid tra sound travels through liquid sound travels in gas but sound cannot travel in vacuum okay sound cannot travel in vacuum now first of all when you uh, just you know this uh, bells these are not dipped inside the water it is kept up okay it is kept up now when you shake the vessel will be able to hear the bell when you shake the vessel you will be able to hear the bell why because see this time the bells are not dipped into the water okay but what is present here obviously air is present okay this flask is filled till here itself okay the flask is filled till here or will make it very less till here okay in the first case the bells are you know above than the water and when you shake this pipe and you hear carefully you will be you will be able to hear the sound okay that means air is here and sound is traveling and that is the reason you are able to hear you will hear from this tube okay now now second case okay now you will dip down this rod like you will bring this uh, rod to which the bells are tied or you will deep the you will what you will do you will bring this bells and you will put this into water means you will bring this rod below okay so that this bells get immersed into water what you will do you will or what has to be done children the this rod has to be brought below it has to be pushed below so that these bells get dipped into the water okay now the second situation the bells are inside the water the bells are inside the water and now you now you shake it again if you hear from here you will be able to hear this sound okay you will be able to hear this sound it proves that sound travels through the liquid okay sound travels through the liquid now now what has to be done you know now this tube will be removed for a while or even if it is kept it is kept properly and then it has to be boiled okay it has to be boiled now if you remove this thing it will be quite easier then because you know what i mean to show is now what we'll do we'll remove this rods and we will boil the water now when the water is boiling what we will do when the water is boiling the vapors are coming out along with the vapors whatever air is present here will also move out yes okay we are boiling the water when we boil the water when we boil the water what is happening the vapors are coming out and along with the vapors the air which is present here will also will come out now immediately we will close this again with the cock again the two rods has to be kept okay now what we will do we will allow it to cool if we you know do uh, if you are falling short of time what we can do we can pour cold water on this flask nothing is an idea is just only to you uh, know cool the flask uh, sooner okay when this flask will be cooled now see children now what is there this uh, water okay like a lot of uh, part of the water is evaporated again the bells are kept up now if we try to move the vessel you will see that you won't be able to hear the sound 
you won't be able to hear the sound why children because water is there down ok water is available but it is down now this bills are to the upper side it is not immersed into the water ok now here if air was if air in the previous case when air was present it was possible for the person for us to hear the sound but when now air is removed out air is pushed out along with the water ok and when the vessel is condensed what happened there will be no air so in this case we will not be able to hear any kind of sound ok now when we shake it we will not be able to hear any kind of sound now next what we will do we will again open this we will again open this and what will happen children now air will come inside again now if you close it and again you keep it up you repeat the experiment again if it kept up again when you move you will be able to hear the bell of the sound ok I will revise it once again so that the thing become very clear ok so we will talk again about this experiment children what has to be taken see first of all a round bottom flask has to be taken in this very little water see very little water is kept is not it I have marked till here it is very little only this much of water has to be taken ok why is very little amount of water has to be taken children so that we can boil all the water and we can remove the water ok so very little amount of water has to be taken then this flask can be closed by a cork ok this flask can be closed by a cork now this cork has got two holes ok this cork has got two holes now from the first ho hole one glass rod is immersed and to this the bells are tied ok one glass rod is inserted and what is there some bells are attached to the glass rod now to the from the second hole again another glass tube has to be inserted and on the top of this again which kind of tube has to be added I told you so one rubber tube has to be added to this glass tube ok why becomes it becomes wider and you know you can fold it anywhere so that you can adjust it according to uh, wherever you are comfortable to sit ok now what has to be done children first of all the just bell are outside the water and it is allowed to move ok it is shaken then what will be the case you will be able to hear the sound you will be able to hear the sound ok second case when you dip when you dip this when you bring, bring this ok this bells and immerse it into the water and then if you shake then also you will be able to hear the sound this was the second stage third one when the water is allowed to boil ok when the water is allowed to boil and ok what is happening the water is coming out as the vapor water is coming out as the vapor and again it is allowed to close ok it is open ok and see it is open now the water is boiling now when the water has you know the vapors have come out come out ok then what has to be done children this again it has to be closed ok with the cock same cock and now it is this flask has to be you know kept for some time so that it become cool one more thing you can do or can be done that if the cold water is poured on this flask then this flask will become cooler faster ok now now what has to be done children now then the along with the vapor all the air has gone out when the vapor what the vapor which are which are present inside when it condenses now there is no medium left ok there is no medium left in the flask ok even if a few drop of water some water is left it is quite below because already the amount of water which we have taken is very very less ok and whatever was taken for now it is evaporated ok now what is the case now if you shake the bells you will not be able to hear any kind of sound why you will not be able to hear any kind of sound because there is no medium left inside because there is no medium left inside now 
Now what has to be done? Again the cork has to be reopened. Okay, little bit confusing it is, but then if you understand once, it will be very clear for you. Okay, when this cork is again opened, so what will happen? Again air will come inside. Okay, again you close it. Again when you shake it, you will be able to hear the bells. That means what is happening, children? That when the medium is there, okay, when the medium is there, you will be able to hear the sound but when there is no medium then you won't be able to hear any kind of sound okay so what is proved from, from this experiment that sound needs medium for the propagation sound can travel through air water and solids okay and what is the third thing children what is proved that whenever okay what will be the third point that whenever sound travels through please pay attention okay whenever sound travels through uh, you know uh, liquid it will be faster than gases okay it will be faster than gases but when sound travels through solid it is the fastest it will be like it will travel fastest okay so i can write the three things which is proved from this experiment I just have to clean this but again we will revise what are the three things which is proved children that first one sound travels through all the medium solid liquid and gases okay then sound needs medium for traveling okay because when no medium was there all the vapor was out and it was not immersed into water also sound didn't travel okay now what is the third point children that in solid the sound travel fastest okay in solid the sound travels fastest then in liquid and then in gases means number one it is like i can say in this way it sound travels slowest in gases okay it travels with a higher speed in liquids and it travels fastest in solids okay now when i'm saying uh, i'll have to talk much and more about this so first of all we'll complete this I will just rub the blackboard. Okay, so what were the things which were proved by the experiment? Before writing that, I am thinking to you know talk about some other experiment which can again prove. See, we have discussed the experiment which proved that the sound travels through solid, through liquid, through gases. Okay, but to prove that sound does not travel without a medium sound cannot travel in vacuum okay sound cannot travel without any medium for this we have discussed only one experiment okay so i think we can discuss one more experiment to prove that sound needs medium to travel okay for this experiment what has to be done children one what glass jar has to be taken okay what has to be taken children i'll draw this side a bell jar okay a bell jar has to be taken okay now this is a bell jar now from here we have to attach one we have to keep one bell okay we have to keep one bell now this is the gong okay this is the thing where it is going to hit and here we will be having one battery Okay, I am not drawing in detail, but just somehow. Okay, now all connections are being made. Okay, so what we have done, children, we have taken one inverted, like we have taken one glass jar, okay, bell jar rather. We have taken a bell jar, okay. Inside this bell jar, what we have kept? We have kept one bell, electric bell, okay. Now we will very nicely, we will remove the, uh, you know, the wires of the electric bell, okay. And we will connect it, connect this uh, bell with a battery, okay. What has to be done? We have taken a bell jar. Inside this, what has to be kept an electric bell has to be kept and the wires has to be removed 
and it is connected to it is connected through uh, the battery ok. Now next what has to be like you know what is there here we have got like it is connected to a air pump ok, air pump or I can say a pump which can create vacuum ok, a pump which can create vacuum. So, I will write here vacuum pump. Okay. A bell jar, okay, a bell jar is taken and then what has to be done? An electric bell has to be taken. Now, this electric bell uh, we have removed all the wires and it is connected to the battery, it is connected to the battery. Now, you can see this is a gong okay, and when the current will be passed, what will happen? This is going to hit the this gong. Okay this gong is going to hit this part and it is going to produce the bell ok. Switches connections I have not drawn in detail, but it is all totally made ok. The connections are made and everything is done. Now, this is a vacuum pump which is connected to the one end of the bell jar. Now, what has to be done? When we switch on ok, when we switch on the electric bell ok that means what when we press the switch when the switch is pressed then what will happen children this gong will hit this ok and it is going to produce sound ok this gong will hit the disc and the sound will be produced ok this much is very clear nothing is done see a bell jar is taken inside the bell jar what has to be kept one electric bell has to be kept these electric bell from these electric bell the wires has to be removed and it has to be connected with the battery ok. Now to one side vacuum pump is uh, added to the bell jar so that we can remove the air which is present in the bell jar. But before doing that what we have to do we will just switch on the bell or just we will press the switch ok we will just press the switch this gong, this gong will come closer to this and it is going to hit ok and you can hear the sound of the bell, you can hear the sound of the bell ok this was the first step. Now in second step what has to be done children, if the vacuum is removed through this part, if we switch on the vacuum pump and all the air will be pulled out. Ok, all the air will be pulled out, there will be no air inside this bell jar, ok. All the air is pulled out and there is no air inside this jar. Now if you switch on the uh, this thing, if you press the switch ok, when you press the switch you will see children, you will see this gong is hitting the metal ok, you will see that previously as the gong was hitting this metal again in the same way this gong will hit this disc ok. But you would not be able to hear any kind of sound, you would not be able to hear any kind of sound because earlier as air was present inside the jar ok, as earlier the air was present inside the jar and so we were able to hear the sound. But as the what is there now air from the air jar the air is removed ok, no air is there and so we would not be able to hear the what the sound of the electric bell ok. Now we will discuss we will write few important point of this bell jar uh, experiment ok. So, what we will write take a bell jar. ok, inside it keep one keep one electric bell ok, this is connected by a battery ok, it is connected by battery and all the electric wires are removed ok. Now, 
this well jar is connected to a vacuum pump okay through uh, an opening okay it is connected through it is connected to vacuum pump through an opening okay now the first case okay what is the first case when we switch on the when the bell is pressed okay in the first case when the bell is pressed then what will happen we will be able to hear the sound sound is audible okay with sound bell sound is quite audible this is the first case okay now what is the second case children we have discussed here when the bell is pressed sound is audible okay sound is audible now when now the second case now we'll be talking about the second case okay now what has to be done when air is removed out okay when air is removed out by air or vacuum pump okay by vacuum pump then what will happen now if we switch on now if the switch uh, here i have written bell children it means switch okay means when the bell is pressed means what switch is pressed okay switch switch is pressed okay so here also when the switch is pressed so what will happen when the switch is pressed now here we won't be able to hear any kind of sound we will not be able to hear any kind k i here of sound okay but then what is visible still we will see that gong is hitting the desk okay but gong wait but okay but but the hammer can be seen hitting the disc okay now the third thing now third thing again what has to be done children now again will what 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 will do will allow the air to enter this okay we will allow the air to enter this will remove the vacuum pump and will allow the air to enter this and now again if we switch on or we press the bell or we press the switch we will be able to hear the bell okay we will be able to hear the sound okay so what does it prove children it proves that sound cannot travel in vacuum sound needs medium to travel okay and sound can travel through the different medium okay now one like last important thing children when we remove air from this vacuum pump okay when we are removing when this process is going on okay it won't happen that suddenly the voice will stop okay suddenly the electric bell uh, sound you won't be able to hear okay what will happen when the air is being removed from hair okay when this is in process the the sound will become 
feeble, feeble and feeble slowly and then it will stop, okay, then it will stop. So, this is all about the what an experiment which proves that sound cannot travel without medium, sound needs medium to travel and when the medium is removed we can see the gong hitting the disc but we won't be able to hear any kind of sound, okay. Now we will talk about something else about the same characteristic feature of the sound.